Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kate, and today we're going to be reviewing the Sephora Play April box. Now, this box just came in today, and as you can tell, I am not looking my best. That is because I just got home from softball, but I wanted to film this real quick so I can get it out to you all. And also, apologize for my lighting. One of my boxes didn't work, so I just have one of them up. So, just ignore that for this video, and it is fine. Let's jump right into this box and see what goodies are inside. Okay, so when you open the box, it comes in this little thing. Open it here. On the top, it says, as always, love tips, tricks, and beauty hacks. Sephora.com slash play. And then you open this and you get your little Sephora 50 bonus points, which I still actually have to go get my March bonus points. So need to do that soon and then it opens up and it tells you kind of what the main theme is of the box and the little bag is really cute it's a little green ribbon and then it says make it snappy hashtag Sephora play so let's check this thing out first it is okay so April 2018 insta beauty so it's like all about Instagram I feel like and like the beauty trends there maybe that's my guess on it here it has like an insta beauty bucket list and it says how many of these have you captured so you could just look off and be like yeah i've done this like the internet hair or something um balloon decorating you know those big little balloons um liner little artsy coffee stuff and then on the back is everything that we got so let's dive right into this and see what we have been given Ooh, I see something on the little sheet thing. I'm really excited. Okay. Wow, this is it's gonna be a good one. I see you guys. Ooh, yes. Okay. First thing that has come out of the box is this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Poreless Finish Airbrush Pressed Powder. Sorry, that's a tongue twister. It's a little sample size of their pore pressed powder, finishing powder there. So let me open this here. Let's use it off. Oh, and then on the back, it has a little picture of a woman. And before, it just so shows that she has some oil there. And then after using this translucent powder, all the oil is gone, which it's crazy how that works, you know, with some makeup. Okay, so you open it here and then gives you a little sponge. And this is actually a pretty good size. This could probably fit like a dollar coin or something. I'm not positive how big it is, but it's definitely bigger than a quarter. So that is a good sized little sample thing for you to try. The next thing, this is what I was excited about. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector in shade six. So I don't know how many shades there are, but this is just a weightless skin tint that blurs imperfections and protects your skin. Now I was excited by this because I'm really always intrigued by the Makeup Forever products because I just feel like some of them are just so colorful and artsy that there's so much room for you to create with them and I love their HD um, stick foundation. I use that all the time and it's just it's a real good one. So this is just a blurring skin tint with sunscreen. It looks a tiny bit dark for me but as you can see we'll just put some on the back of my hand here and just squirts like that. And then just rubs it in. It says it's just a beautiful mid-ground between BB cream and foundation. And it just moisturizes and blurs your imperfections. And it's sunscreen. And it is a sheer to medium coverage. So yeah, so if you're not feeling that heavy coverage from foundation and then not so light from BB cream, this might be a really good option. Next we have this Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Mask. And this is a five minute facial in a jar that targets all your dull, rough, and dry skin. So it's a little thing right here. And then you open the lid and it has your face mask in there. So that's neat. Ooh, also smells very good. Excited to try this out. It's very refreshing and it's creamy mask and it's supposed to restore your skin's natural glow, you know, that natural glow there. Oh, okay. We see this here? Yes. This is the Urban Decay Hi Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss in SPL. This is like a sudden sparkle thing. Two of these products were new the uh, Makeup Forever and then also this. I'm so, oh, this is a very, very pretty color, guys. Oh, wow. Okay, this box is really good. If you guys just signed up for this box and got the April box, 
you are in for a treat. Oh, this, okay. So I'll show you the card, then I will swatch it so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is a shade right here, which we got. It kind of looks like it has a little opal tint to it, so it's kind of pink, but then it has those like greens in it, something. Let me test this out on my back of my hand and show you what is in store. So I think you can see that glare there, but you can tell it's very, sp oh yeah. See, that is so pretty right there. And just imagine having that on your lips and then just hitting the sparkle against some sunlight. I know I am very excited to wear that in photos or just any day. Change it up a little, give it some color there. Wow, okay, that is very pretty, okay. Moving on, we have this Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For. This is a mattifying primer in Complexion Perfector. So just another primer there. It comes in a really good size bottle for a sample size. Lastly, this is the, this month's bonus. It is the Mean Miu Miu. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a perfume and it's in Leo Rose. Le Rose? That might be. Um, hopefully, and it's just a little perfume sample. So I'm gonna squirt it and we'll smell it. Oh, so. Okay, so it's a nice smell. I don't think it's my favorite. It smells kind of like flowers, like roses, maybe. That's what it's supposed to smell like. Okay, so Miu Miu is a major fashion house based in Milan. And it is, the, and this vibrant scent encapsulates the quintessential Minu Minu girl. A fiercely independent beauty with a knack for spontaneous and adventure and classic style. So if you want to be a Miu Miu girl, then maybe you should check this out. I mean, I'm not a huge perfume like floral person. I like more the fruity perfume smells, I would say. It's not a bad smell. But it is nice. So if you like little rose smell stuff, maybe check this one out. That is all that came in this month's box, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like seeing what came in this box. I know. I think I said this last box too that that was one of my favorite boxes or something last month or the month before. But this is very good month one of my favorites so far just keeps getting better from these little samples i'm so excited to try some of these things out and maybe you guys will like to try them out too or go to sephora and check them out for yourself make sure you like subscribe turn on post notifications follow all my social media listed down below i am kate and i will see you guys next time bye